Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ben Mandel, and I would like to welcome the head coach of our nationally ranked men's ice hockey team, Tyler Hines. Thanks for being here with us. Yeah, Coach Hines. happy to be here. So last year's team had a lot of success and really opened the eyes for people outside of the program. This year, the team has taken another step forward. What has been the difference this year, you think, for the team? Uh, I think a big part of it is going through last year and kind of seeing uh, um, you know, how we do things here last year was, uh, you know, from ground zero had to build up this year. We came in with, um, you know, a more established, uh, mature program and, um, that's to be expected in the second year. But I think, um, you, you know, the real difference has been the, the maturity from the group. Um, the leadership has stepped up and done a good job. We, we have five, uh, five captains and, um, you know, plenty of other leaders to go with that. So not just those guys doing a great job, but, but really the whole team, holding each other accountable. And um, from day one, I, I think the, uh, it's been an excited group. The vibe's been good. There's been a lot of energy and uh, happy to see that that hasn't changed throughout the course of the season. Cause as you know, it can, uh, you know, season can be long, it can wear on you, but to keep that energy every day, I think is the, the most important thing. Yeah, so Donald Flynn really burst out onto the scene last year. And like the team, he's also improved this season. Um, like, He's among some of the top players in the country in goals scored. What can be said about his growth as a player and why he's had so much success this season? I think, yeah, he, uh, you know, really, uh, really proud and happy for, for how he's doing this year. And I think we saw last year, you know, the skill and the type of player that he is and can be here. And um, quite frankly, I don't even think we've, we've seen the ceiling yet for what he can be. I mean, he's only a sophomore and already uh, in my eyes, the top player in the country and uh, in most people's eyes, you know, at least in the, in the top five conversations. So we've been really happy, impressed with him, you know, being uh, more disciplined in the, in the penalty department. He's done a great job there. And um, that's for a guy that other teams are uh, every night, night in, night out, knowing they got to stop and get after and probably takes a little more uh, physicality than, than most guys do, but he's handled it really well. And um, as one of those five captains that I, that I previous, previously talked about, done a great job leading the way as well. So you mentioned Flynn. He's a tough guy for teams to play. Like him, you have Nick Fia, Tyler Barrow. Uh, they've both also been very productive. Um, all three players are the top three scorers in the UCHC. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think this does for other teams that are trying to game plan against you? Um, because now they have to look out for three stars instead of just one. Yeah, I think it, it definitely makes it tougher. Um, and those are three guys with elite, elite level skill. I mean, I think each of them brings something different to the table and that's the unique thing. They don't all play the same way and um, you, you know, can say things about the jump that, that Nick and Tyler have taken, including Donnie. I think it's uh, really exciting for the program. They get a lot of the attention and exposure, but um, you know, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention the, the guys that help them get there, the guys that their line mates getting in on the four check. And, um, you know, Tyson Arujo is a guy who uh, might not have the stats a, as some of those others, but, um, you know, does all the little things that, that help those guys click and help them go. Um, so we take a, as much pride in that stuff and view that as being as important as, as, as putting up points and things like that. But, you know, can't say enough good things about, about those three. Yeah, so heading into this weekend, the team will finish out the regular season um, with road games against Nazareth and Utica, mm -hmm. two tough competitors or to close out this regular season. Well, uh, your team previously had a third period comeback against Nazareth mm -hmm. um, to win in overtime while the Colonels um, will face another tough team after in Utica who handed one of your two yeah. conference <laughs> losses. Yep. Um, the second contest against each of these teams will be important for the UCHC seating. How does the team plan to go after these two teams, specifically Utica, after the rough go the first time? Yeah, I think it, you're exactly right. This will have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, affect the, the playoff seeding and um, with the buy at stake, winning the league at stake, things like that, um, you know, important things. But I think the biggest being we can't look ahead, can't look past Nazareth because that, uh, it, you know, really puts the onus and the pressure on, on the next night. I think, you know, we've taken things day in, day out, one day at a time, one game at a time approach. and that's what we've had success with, um, so we'll keep that going. But I think Nazareth poses challenges. They, they have a great goalie and um, really well-coached, disciplined team. And um, Utica is just a deep, hard, tough team to play against. And they uh, really took it to us in our building, and we're excited to get up there. That's a great crowd, great atmosphere. So, um, you know, that should be a really uh, exciting way to 
finish out the, the regular season and um, you know set us on the right trajectory going into playoffs. All right, so that's going to do it for the interview. Thanks for coming on with us, Coach. Yeah. Um, good luck wrapping up the uh, season and heading into the playoffs. Thanks, Ben. I'm Ben Mandel. Now back to you guys in the studio.